So let us have a look at our DAA, our debtor's age analysis. And we need to refer to information D. This is information D. Calculate the percentage of debtors complying with the credit terms and explain two measures to improve collection from debtors. Uh, so here we have our debtor's age analysis on the 30th of September 2016. The credit period is 60 days. So who is complying? So current, yes, 23,000. 300 yes because that is i hate when it does that it's between 30 to 60 days so these guys are complying these are our bad people from 61 to 90 days you are outside the credit period my friend and more than 19 days yo we are now risking bad debts here and look how big that figure is 65,900 76,700 that's a lot more than those who are in our period so we've got some really big issues here so um who is complying? The 35.3 and the 23.3. And we put it over our total amount. So this is what the calculation looks like. So the 35.3 plus the 23.3 as previously stated. And we put it over our grand total of 200 and 1,200. We multiply by 100 to get a percentage. That is what they wanted. Explain two measures to improve collection from debtors. So anything along these lines would have scored you the marks. Just have a look at bottom left here. So maybe we send out monthly stain send out monthly statements, uh, email them on time so they know when they should be paying us. Maybe we offer higher discounts to encourage earlier payments. Or we charge interest on overdue accounts. On overdue accounts, we don't sell to debtors that are already exceeding their credit limits. We send SMS reminders to the debtors. Maybe we employ the services of an attorney or a debt collector. Um, maybe we can encourage debtors to pay by debit order. So anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. Debtors age analysis, easy, piece of cake.